Well, hello and welcome back to my channel, Age. It's just a number and my name is Barbara Jean. My channel is for women over 40, 50, 60, or 70 who have a love of fashion and beauty. But today it is about my sixth week post-op update. Yes, I just got back from the doctors and um, I actually I uh, didn't even I didn't see the actual my surgeon today. I saw the um, the PA, the physician's assistant, and the uh, physical therapy dude, um, which I think they're kind of in charge of all of this stuff in here. I mean, I could have asked seen him if I had any questions, but I didn't, and I mean they're very pleased with my progress. So uh, we went over what I had been doing, which is going to the pool. Last time I went at the two week, they let me go to the pool starting the third week, and then I could walk in the pool for starting at 20 minutes, working up my way up to 30 minutes, and walking, starting walking forward, and then I got to add in walking backwards. And then the next time I bumped it up to 25 minutes twice a week, and I got to, um, start adding in some side steps because the hip hip abductor which is what they repair that's what the tendons are attached to is what is um you know when you're taking it out sideways so uh, i was able to start some of those and yes it did hurt at first but after about a day um it eases up so they have told me to continue exactly what I'm doing. I can add in a third visit to the pool. Uh, so that is very exciting. So I can get some more activity in. Uh, I can now drive short distances. That made me so happy. You have no idea how happy that made me uh, to where like, I can go to the grocery store and get my fruit and my fresh vegetables and stuff. Uh, so yeah i'm just so excited about that so yeah it's a you know it's a long way over there so we had to leave early this morning but it's like it takes us anywhere between an hour depending on the traffic to an hour and a half to get over there to where the doctor's office is over in frisco from us over here in fort worth so i don't go back until my three-month check which will be august 31st and at that point, that's when we'll discuss my plan for me to be able to um, do normal, to start normal walking again uh, and hopefully get to uh, a point to where they're comfortable with what I'm comfortable with. But I got rid of the walker. I got rid of the brace and that brace is so dang hot. Oh my goodness, in this heat. I mean, you know, we're going to have another 110 there. 10 degree day today so that brace is extremely extremely hot so um but uh we had a little discussion that the protocol is after you get rid of the walker is to get a cane and um jessica the pa she said well it's protocol and but the physical therapist says she's not gonna do it <laughs> he knows me <laughs> he knows uh i'm a little uh, a little gung ho, but um, he's trying to keep me reeled in. So I promise to behave. So um, I will do that. No long drives. I can only drive for very short distances, which I'm fine with that. Uh, I mean, it's still it's still healing. This, you know, I was reading the other day when it talks about not only tendon repair but uh, the bursectomy, which is where they had to remove the bursa. Um, that takes. I think it said six to 12 weeks to start healing. So, and I'm just at the six weeks. So it's going to, it's, it's got to take, it's, it's, I, I'm, I've got to be patient. It's got to take time. Uh, but I know it's, uh, you know, I already have less pain than I had before. So that is, that's something so exciting. So, um, so that is the update on that. I did want to mention a few things as well, too, because we kind of talked about this. Um, I kind of mentioned it, but when I was preparing for surgery, one of the things, and this is one of the things, 
it's trying to be jumping around here, but I want to help anybody that might be going through this and that may need some pointers and stuff. So I wanted to kind of go over some of the stuff that will make your journey in this, uh, especially the surgery part, a little bit easier. Now, one of the things that the doctor required that um, I get, it was in my paperwork before the surgery, and I had to order these off of Amazon to have with me. And they are the this specific bandages for the hip arthroscopic because these are waterproof and they are um, actually had just a couple left in here. Who knows if I may need them, but I don't know if you can see the size of them in here, but this was perfect. I used two at a time to cover up and you probably saw in some of the, the, the things, but these bandages are very good. Wonderful, and I understand why they suggested, or excuse me, they insisted that I order them. So, but what I will do is I will put a link to this down below in there too, in case you are interested. Um, also, um, the puppy pads. Remember, if you, if you caught my first video uh, right after the surgery and everything, because I didn't really understand the arthroscopic whenever they do that surgery, they put all this fluid in the area uh, to do that arthroscopic. And so therefore you have all of this in your area and it's gonna leak out especially. And because I had to go stay at the hotel and I didn't have any of those pads, oh my God, I felt so, so bad about the mess that was left on the sheets. Now, if you're in a situation to where you're coming home, you're not gonna have, you know, the sheet, the laundry company come and get those sheets and everything. So I would suggest the puddle pads. I put in a link down below to some that you're gonna need to lay on for the first couple of days for, as that leakage comes out. So that's there too. Another one of the things that I, I touched base on it before, but I really think it's important is preparing for surgery, I really started beefing up uh, my amount of protein. I eat a lot of protein anyway, but I really, really put it on, I, I, I took a lot of it. So uh, I watched that. Now, one of the ways I, I start my day off with is always the uh, vital proteins that's got 20 grams uh, in a serving. So that's 20 grams right there. I also use the premier protein drinks, shakes, I like that. Uh, it's either just as a shake, I add it as a coffee creamer uh, sometimes, but that also has, if you drink just the shake itself, it's a small shake, it's 30 grams of protein. So, you know, and I eat a lot of chicken, I eat a lot of eggs. So protein and vitamin C helps with the healing process. So I think that has been um, uh, a value to me. So I wanted to share that. Another thing that too that helped with my healing process that is absolutely wonderful, anytime you get bruising or something like that, I, I was papaya enzymes. These are chewables. One is, uh, I just take three and after a meal and it really helps with the bruising. And I think these really, really have helped me. And I'll show you really quick at six weeks what the scars look like. Let's see if I can stand up here. Um, I'm gonna have to use the camera here if I can. But there are the scars. There's just the one, two, and then three. So long shot right there. They're healing very, very nicely. Whoops, sorry about that. So let me get back sitting here. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing on that, I'm gonna wait probably another couple of weeks and for the scars and everything, I will start doing um, my little derma roller. I do derma roll, I have for years on my face and everything, anytime there is a little scar or something, I will um, use a derma roller which it, you know, punctures little bitty holes and causes it to, uh, to start healing itself. So I'll get some vitamin E oil 
and uh, I'll do a little bit of derma rolling on my, on my scars to help those kind of dissipate as well too. So, um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, I still, it's very important for me because I still need it for the stability and everything. When I get up and when I'm getting in and out of a car, I still keep my legs together and I do it as one turn. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm literally putting my knees and my thighs together and I use my body to turn uh, together and it makes that takes all the, the the stress off of that he has said that uh, it is okay for me to do at the gym to do upper body uh, strength training which you know is as, as, as we get older we're, we women we should be doing that anyway but um, so I have been Patrick has been working with me but only on machines not free weights uh, he told me to stick to the uh, the the machines because that will take pressure uh, and I'm not doing you know you can kind of stumble it depending on what you're doing but I I'm a firm believer in low weight more reps and any physical therapist will tell you that too low weight more reps is more beneficial than um, a bunch of heavy weights and at this point in our life we shouldn't be doing that anyway but uh yeah it will just it will help to keep your your body uh intoned and um and looking good so i'm um, you know i'm so excited i felt like i just got a I felt like i just got out of house arrest you know jail <laughs> because this is like i i can drive now <laughs> i can go do stuff i'm so excited so very excited so all right, so that is my uh, six-week uh, post-op surgery update. So I'm going to sign off here now. I'll leave the links, like I said, down below and stuff to the items that I talked about that I found that I think helped me um, through this process. If you've got any questions for me, please reach out in the comments. I'll get back with you and answer them to the best of my knowledge. And I will be back. I'm going to wait probably to the three month to do another video and let you know how the healing has gone. So, all right, I'm going to sign off now. Remember what I tell you ladies. I tell you every single day to get up and show up because you're worth it. So until I see you in my next video, have a very safe and a very blessed day.